Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Laura, and I am the Ohio organizer with Moms Clean Air Force. And I was thinking today that it might be kind of fun to go over some resources for our kids as you are preparing to vote this November. Um, voting is a really big issue across the United States right now, and I know our kids are seeing lots and lots of flyers and TV ads and there's a lot to try and explain to your kids and sometimes it seems just too big and um, I think one of my favorite ways to talk about issues with kids is to um, go to the library so I have a whole stack of books here with you or with me to share with you guys today um, and just talk about different ways that you can teach your kids about voting and the electoral process and still keep it fun and um, informative too. So the first book that I have is this one. It's called Vote by Eileen Christelau. I'm not 100% certain on pronunciations for all of these authors, so you're going to have to forgive me. But this is a really, it's just such a great book. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different um, examples, like voting for mayor, voting for president, and really cute illustrations. And um, this is one of those books that is always recommended when you go to um, educational sites, too. Um, then for um, your younger kids, this book um, has the cat in the hat as the main character, but it's called One Vote, Two Votes, I Vote, You Vote, and it is by Bonnie Worth. Um, this is a real simple, easy read, something that your kids could actually um, do on their own. And um, I know I've seen a lot of activities online for this um, on teacher websites and through uh, Scholastic. Another book that has neat resources on it is called Duck for President, uh, and it is a, if you haven't read any books from this series, it's so cute, but Duck is mad at the farmer um, and doesn't want to do his chores anymore, and so he decides to stage his own election on the farm, and it goes through the whole process um, between the farm animals, so it's funny and it's light and Scholastic has some neat and free resources that you can find on their website, activities and follow-up things to do with um, this book. Another one is called See How They Run. This book is going to be more for your um, middle school age kids, maybe some upper elementary um, kids too, but it goes through campaigns and um, how the bills get paid during a campaign um, into some of the history and um, different famous people who have run over the years. So this is a really, really excellent book for your older elementary middle school aged children. Today on Election Day by Catherine, Kath, Catherine, I'll get it right eventually. Catherine um, Steer is a really neat book too. Just um, uh, good illustrations, talks about the voting process and some of the history as well. And you know, the history is really important of voting because um, because voting is something that we do so much and um, we use it in so many different capacities, even like with Dancing with the Stars and all the other reality shows that kids see, they need to see that voting is something that we do because it's worth something. And showing them the history behind voting and the rights that we have as American citizens, it's a really, really good lesson for them to learn. Um, Vote for Me by um, Ben Clanton is so funny. I just, it's, it's really cute because in a tongue in cheek way, it goes through the different parties. We have a donkey on this side and an elephant on this side and each character um, is listing the things that make them better than the other, just like regular parties do as well. But the illustrations are cute. And if you like peanuts, then you know who to vote for at the end of this book as well. Um, I love this book, If I Were President, by Katherine Steyer again. Um, she's written a couple of books in this pile, and I just think that she's really good at communicating um, the story behind voting. And um, the illustrations, again, they're beautiful. It tells the story of becoming a president and the decisions that every president has to make with um, creating their cabinet and laws. And so, great, great book. Another great book, I know all these books are great and I'm gonna tell you they are, but um, 
I'm a book lover, our kids are book lovers, and these are all things that you should be able to find at your public library. Um, if you can't, please remember that you can go to your library and ask them to request books from um, around the state of Ohio. I think that's a really neat resource that not everybody knows about, but it's there for the taking. So if you can't find it at your local library, talk to your librarians. And remember, that Elizabeth started all the trouble. This book is about Elizabeth Cady Stanton um, and it is written by Doreen Rappaport. And just again, um, Elizabeth Cady Stanton is the woman who really worked hard on women's um, voting rights in the US. Um, and the 100th anniversary for the women's right to vote comes up next year. And so this is a good time to start teaching your kids about um, everything that the suffragettes experienced and um, what it means for women to have the right to vote. And next in line is this book called Madam President. Um, and this is a neat book because Again, this is a book for older kids. Your preschoolers and lower elementary students are not going to enjoy this probably quite as much because it is, it's wordy. But it goes through the story of women in the United States who worked very hard in politics, starting in the very beginning and then going up until now, really. So this is a really good, it's a pretty thick book, but um, definitely worth, definitely worth your time. Another book for older students, there's a glare, I'm sorry, it's called Every Vote Matters, um, and this is written by a judge, um, and um, a judge, Tom Jacobs and Natalie Jacobs. This is an excellent resource um, for older kids, too, because it starts with student elections and then goes all the way through the Supreme Court and with everything that has been happening um, nationally lately, this is a great way to talk to your kids about that. Um, who doesn't want to be president at some point in their life? I think all kids have wanted to be a president. Um, this is a Caldecott uh, medal book um, written by Judith St. George and David Small. And again, going through the process to become a president um, and talking a little bit about the history of elections and who won elections and became president. Granddaddy's Turn um, is by Michael S. Bandy and Eric Stein, and it is the story of um, a gentleman in the Deep South when it was finally his turn to vote. This is a really, really neat story. Illustrations are great. Brings up a lot of good topics for people to um, talk about with their kids when you talk about civil rights and the right to vote and how it has not always been something that um, our African-American brothers and sisters have had access to easily. Um, so definitely check this one out and then make sure you check out then to Lillian's Right to Vote. Um, this is by Jonah Winter and Shane Evans. This book then talks about the flip side and goes over um, Grandma Lillian and her experience with voting. So you've got two right here that are about um, uh, the right for African Americans to have a vote in the United States and um, the struggles and their experiences. And this is so, I love this on the back of the book. It says, a very old woman stands at the bottom of a very steep hill. It's voting day. Voting is so precious and I just, it's voting day. She's an American and by God, she's going to vote. Lillian is her name. And that just kind of gives you this, this sense of the greatness that this um, right is and how people treasure it. I, it's excellent book and I cry every time I read it. I think I've been reading this since my kids were in <laughs> preschool and I've cried every time. Um, and my last book for you guys is called Around America to Win the Vote. And it's the story of suffragettes once again. Um, it's fun. It's lighthearted. Um, there's a cat in the story too. And it's by Mara Rockliffe. Um, and it just, it, it tells the story of how women around the U.S. Um, got, got the vote. And it goes, I like this in here, there's a map from where they started and where they ended as they were working on um, getting uh, Congress 
to approve the 19th Amendment. So these are just some resources. Like I said, I got them all at the public library. Um, if you just input these names into Google, then you can find all kinds of activities and resources to supplement these books. Um, they're great family read-alongs. They're fun. They're well-written. Um, some of them are better for younger children and then some of them are going to be better for kids who are a little bit older, but um, they're all great books and definitely worth your time as you guys are preparing um, to go and vote in November. So thanks for tuning in, you guys, um, and I hope you get to find a good reading book soon.